wherever you are at your office home on the road or a supermarket just wait look around you will be surrounded by a large number of synthetic polymers or plastics some polymers occur naturally and others can be synthesized using organic and inorganic compounds the starch we eat wool and silk fibers obtained from sheep and silk worms respectively cellulose and rubber are all examples of natural organic polymers what is a polymer basically a polymer is a large molecule composed of many smaller repeating units for example starch is a polymer consisting of a large number of glucose repeat units joined together the first synthetic derivative of cellulose nitrocellulose was made in 1846 by Sean Bean since then plastics have come a long way and it is very difficult to imagine modern life without plastics today from the toothbrush that you use in the morning to the clothes that we wear be it polyester or nylon the overhead water tanks for storage the insulation around electric wires computer peripherals the floor tiles we walk on decorative artificial plants the cars we drive are just a few of the hundreds of synthetic polymer applications that we use every day the usage of plastics is just not restricted to household items they are also being used in various other fields Plastics are the best material of choice for packaging. Be it a flexible packaging material for milk, edible oil, groceries, food, packaged water, fertilizers, cement, chemicals or drugs. The building and construction sector is the second largest plastic user after packaging. From the insulation system to interior furnishing, plastics provide innovative solutions. In India, the Gujarat government after the earthquake in 2001 has set up residential and office blocks made of plastic plastic pipes not only ensure safe and hygienic potable water supply but also helps in optimum utilization of water in the agriculture and domestic sectors
Plastics are an essential aid in various irrigation systems. in greenhouses drip irrigation nurseries and plastic sheeting for the field In the healthcare sector, plastic-based technologies make life-saving and life-enhancing surgery possible. Plastics also play a vital role in fundamental medical care such as disposable syringes, hygienic medical instruments etc helping make better and longer lives for society all over the world plastics have molded the modern world and transformed the quality of life there is no human activity where plastics do not play a role the internet globalization increased speed of communication faster means of transportation the advance of surgical medicine all these would not be possible without plastics continuous technological innovation by the plastic industry means that ever more efficient lightweight and adaptable forms of plastics are being developed for an increasing range of uses there is much to argue in favor of this wonder material called plastic the reasons for the great popularity of plastics is due to the tremendous range of properties exhibited by them such as lightweight high strength long lasting inert safe ease of processing and can be molded into any shape or size during the last 6 decades from practically zero in the 50s the plastic industry has grown worldwide with present consumption of more than 150 million metric tons per annum plastics have a very strong correlation with employment and economic growth let us look into the indian scenario plastic industry in india with an attractive growth rate of 15% per year is one of the fastest growing industries as one of the largest industrial sector with 22000 processing units it amounts to a turnover of rupees 25000 crore and provides direct or indirect employment to over 3 million people Today the per capita consumption of plastics in India is about 4 kilograms when compared with the world average of 14 kilograms Do you know how plastics are made Plastics are most commonly derived from fossil fuels crude oil and natural gas only 4% of these fuels consumed go to make the plastics the rest of the 96% is being used for other human needs 
like transportation and cooking. It is the small portion of the resource which helps in contributing towards social and economic development. The major feedstock is oil. Petrochemical industry supplies the monomers for plastic production and also manufactures a wide range of additives for the plastics. Plastics are produced by the process of polymerization, the chemical bonding of monomers into polymers. The size and the structure of the polymer molecules determines the properties of the plastic material. In their basic form, plastics are produced as powder or granules, also called pellets. The application of heat and pressure to these raw materials produces the final molded plastic product for specific end use. To obtain colored articles, the requisite colored pellets called master batches are added to the virgin granules Plastics occupy a unique position in the kaleidoscopic world of materials. They are often described as one of the greatest inventions of the modern age. Some of the greatest technologies and societal developments in the 20th century and an accelerated journey into the knowledge-driven new millennium have been truly made possible to a great extent due to the phenomenal contributions of plastics, which appears to be an absolute necessity for modern society.